I've completed my patrol of the encampment, my lord. All appears to be in order. I found no sign of the enemy nearby. I believe we are safe here for the night. Good to hear. Thank you, Frederick. While on my rounds, I took it upon myself to inspect our weaponry as well. I've placed any items that showed exceptional wear outside your pavilion. Be your choice to sell or repair them, sire. I recommend swift action. Oh, well you have been busy. Your work ethic always impresses, Frederick. I almost feel lazy by comparison. Nonsense. I've done nothing more than my duty as a knight of Elis. Oh, and beg pardon, my lord, but I noticed you often cause a ruckus when trading. With that in mind, I reinforce the tents near any open areas you're likely to use. Uh, yes, I see. Sorry for the trouble. No trouble at all, my lord. Happy to help. Also, with the nights growing colder, I procured blankets from a nearby village. I've readied a variety of colors so you might pick that which best suits you. If I may be so bold, sire, peach would seem to best flatter your complexion. But perhaps blue. Just to be safe? Yes, that's the best. Blue it is! Here you are, my lord, and two sets of spares just in case. Frederick, do you never tire? Of course not, my lord. I am here to serve. Anna, one final thing. I've taken measures to raise troop numbers and morale. I had an artisan create posters emblazoned with your noble image. It's my lord in a bold pose. Naked, save a scale in one hand and a sword in the other. And at your feet, I scrawled our new recruiting motto. Crom wants you. I had them pinned inside each and every tent. Surely the troops will be thrilled to rally behind their common leader, my lord. Wait, you did what? In whose... You hung this pick in everyone's tent? No need for thanks, my lord. Merely doing my duty. And that concludes my report. Rest well, sire. F Frederick, wait! We really need to talk. Oh, gods, I've got to tear down those posters before anyone sees them! My deepest apologies, my lord. Had I known you'd run from tent to tent rending the posters, I never would have. Gods, I've never been more embarrassed in all my days! My sister nearly pulled a muscle laughing! Listen, Frederick. We need to talk. I know everything you do is for my sake, and I appreciate it, but it's... Well, at times it's a little extreme, and other times it's damn near traumatic. I'm a grown man, Frederick, and I'm capable of taking care of myself. It's not my place to doubt your capability, my lord, but I've duties as a knight. If anything were to happen to you and Lyssa, I couldn't... I, I don't know if I could stand it. But do you see the difference between being a knight and being a nanny? I'm sorry, my lord, but I would risk your embarrassment rather than forsake my duty. Fine, fine. Let's try this again. Let's pretend you're my lord, and I'm your loyal knight. Now let's say you sneeze. Just one little sneeze. Suddenly, I come rushing up to you with a blanket and tea in hand. Or let's imagine how you make an offhand remark about how fish sounds good. And I ride across two mountains to a freezing river to secure dinner. Or heavens preserve us. Let's suppose you look tired. Or perhaps even a yawn. So I bring a parade of increasingly arcane herbal cures to your tent for the next hour. How would that make you feel? My lord, I... I would be enraged, my lord, and humiliated. You see? At some point, such assistance becomes a burden. I respect your sense of duty as a knight, but you must be sane about it. You waste too much time and energy on my sister and myself. It saddens us. You want to make us happy? Take some time to yourself. Relax. Enjoy yourself. Is that an order, sire? <sighs> if it was, I've no doubt you would obey without question. But that would defeat the point. It's not an order, Frederick. It's a request. From one friend to another. My lord, I... Uh, very well. If it is your wish, I shall limit my actions to a bare minimum. I apologize for any trouble my efforts may have caused until now. Thanks for understanding. And for your dedication. It is my pleasure to serve, my lord. Uh, that is, within reason. And that concludes today's report, my lord. All right. Thank you, Frederick. Huh. Now there's something I never expected to hear. Is everything all right, Frederick? Oh, well, my apologies, sire. No, I did not mean for you to hear that. It's fine, but are you all right? You're not coming down with something, are you? Not at all, my lord. 
I'm the picture of health. Then why have you seemed so exhausted lately? You looked pale as a sheet this morning. I thought a risen had entered our camp. The other shepherds are worried as well. Is something the matter? My lord, I uh, apologize again. I'm just... You see, I feel I've been of no use to either you or Lissa of late. Hmm? What was that? You're mumbling. N nothing, my lord. It's, it's nothing. Perhaps I simply need a bit of sleep. Then go rest! And if there's anything bothering you, come tell me straight away. Oh, before you go, thank you for patching up the holes in everyone's tents. I know mine's a lot more comfortable without that blasted draft. But my lord, I... I how did you know? Who else would fix a tiny detail like that after a long day of battle? So again, my friend, thank you. From everyone. There are days I think this entire army would fall apart if not for you. My lord, I... I don't know what to say. Your praise is the highest honor. <laughs> it's the truth, Frederick. That's all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go speak with Robin. Yes, of course. Robin's tent is... that way, wasn't it? I'll get started straight away, my lord. Get started? Are you clearing the gravel? Frederick, what in the world are you doing? It wouldn't do to have you trip and hurt yourself, sire. Surely you see. Ah, uh, are you worried you could trip over me, then? Of course. Not to worry, sire. I have a plan that will let me clear the path well ahead of you. Um, Frederick. Is something amiss, my lord? Ah, of course. The reeds are a hazard as well. I'll just pluck them here. That's not what I was going to say. So careless of me, sire. I'll have the devils uprooted in just a moment. Oh, for the love of- All clear, sire. You can trod through camp without worry or delay. Is this his idea of keeping things to a minimum? Still, I suppose it keeps him happy. Mm hmm? Did you say something, my lord? Uh, Frederick! For the love of the gods, I have a meeting with Robin! Oh yes, here he is now. Hello, Robin. Do pardon the intrusion. Frederick, we don't need you to- You could dust later! And actually, you don't need to dust Robin at all! Frederick! Frederick! Frederick.